Prince Charles dons a traditional tartan kilt and sparn as he visits Dunrobin Castle. Prince Charles, 72, donned his finest Scottish attire for a visit to Dunrobin Castle. He looked on fine form as he made the trip to the historic stronghold yesterday. Also visited Dunrobin Castle Station to mark the 150th anniversary of the Duke of Sutherland's Railway. Prince Charles donned his finest Scottish garb as he made a visit to Dunrobin Castle yesterday. Sporting the family kilt in a green and red tartan, along with a brown leather sparin, the Prince of Wales, or the Duke of Rothsey as he's officially known while north of the border looked on fine form as he made the trip to the historic stronghold, which is the most northerly of Scotland's great houses. The heir to the throne, 72, also visited Dunrobin Castle Station, where he marked the 150th anniversary of the Duke of Sutherland's railway by unveiling a plaque. A collection of images from the trip were posted to the Prince's Instagram account, with the caption explaining, Dunrobin Castle is on the east coast of the Northern Highlands overlooking the Moray Firth. It's one of Britain's oldest continuously inhabited houses dating back to the early 1300s, home to the Earls and later, the Dukes of Sutherland. He was welcomed by the Earl of Sutherland and introduced to Ian Crisp, head gardener for Dunrobin Castle, while taking a short walk around the gardens alongside the Countess of Sutherland. Sutherland Lord Lieutenant Dr. Monica Main greeted the Prince and presented the Earl of Sutherland to him. A reception was held on the station's platform when Prince Charles met representatives of the railway industry and the neighboring castle as well as other guests. Honorary Station Master Daniel Britton Catlin gave His Royal Highness a tour of the station. Prince Charles unveiled two plaques, one from the National Transport Trust commemorating the 150th anniversary and another marking his visit. After visiting the station, His Royal Highness toured Dunrobin Castle's formal gardens. He was welcomed by the Earl of Sutherland and introduced to Ian Crisp head gardener for Dunrobin Castle. Then, while at the station, the prince was given a tour by honorary station master Daniel Britton Catlin, according to the Northern Times. Charles also met representatives of the railway industry in the neighboring castle during a reception held on the station's platform. The heir to the throne's visit came as the queen was officially welcomed to Balmoral Castle today, with a small ceremony outside the castle gates marking the start of Her Majesty's stay, which typically ends in early October. Over the coming weeks she is expected to host family members including Prince Charles and the Duchess of Cornwall. It marks the Queen's first summer holiday at her Scottish estate since the death of the Duke of Edinburgh in April, at the age of 99. The Queen was greeted by a guard of honour formed of the Five Scots, Balaclava Company, 5th Battalion the Royal Regiment of Scotland, under the command of Major Cameron-Law. The Queen is Colonel-in-Chief of the Royal Regiment of Scotland. She brought a splash of colour to proceedings in a pleated floral dress pink tweed coat and matching pink hat with floral detailing at the brim. The queen accessorized with a simple three-strand pearl necklace, a pair of white gloves, and her favorite black leather loafers and patent handbag. Her Majesty, who is Colonel-in-Chief of the Royal Regiment of Scotland, wore the cap badge as a pin. This is the first time the welcome ceremony has taken place since 2019. In line with government guidelines, the ceremony did not take place last year. It coincides with the easing of the majority of lockdown restrictions in Scotland. Easing of the majority.